The debate over a vaccine and mass mandates took center stage today in Encinitas. Our Jamie Chambers is there live with why emotions are still running very high tonight. Jamie. Yeah, Phil, this debate has been binary from the very beginning. Either they're all one way or they're all the other way for quite some time. We've seen county and city officials berated and attacked at times and activists. They've had uh, suffered a toll as well. The anti-vaccine and anti-mask mandate activist message has been clear from the beginning. We're free people and we don't have to um, abide by these things. But county health officials have reported that over 80% of San Diegans over the age of 12 are fully vaccinated and emotions surrounding the COVID-19 and masking have been extreme. There's a division all throughout the country and that is a goal for I don't know who. But this is a goal to, for us to be divided. It's very unfortunate. Here in Encinitas, Andy Shulgasser challenged the local library masking policy. They wanted me to either leave or put a mask on. And I said, well, you know, call the police and they'll set you straight on the law. And sadly, the police came. Declining to leave or give into wearing a mask, Andy stood her ground. But deputies didn't want to hear anything we had to say. And then finally they said, that's it. We're taking you in. We're arresting you for, I think it was trespassing. And they handcuffed me and they brought me into the sheriff's office. And emotions are also running high at home. My children's grandmother coming to my house with a welder's mask and a mask underneath that um, and just not having that connection. But while some connections are being lost, others are being formed at the rallies. If you only have two choices to heal or for this to be done, wear a mask and get a shot, come on, you, you got you to gotta wake up. Now, the rally today was to continue to support first responders in not getting their vaccine if they don't want to. But most of the deadlines have passed. Most of the first responders have, uh, that have wanted to leave have already left. But activists say they will continue to fight for the principle of what this is all about. Uh, that's the very latest from Encinitas. I'm Jamie Chambers. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Jamie, thank you for that.